Now we will discuss platelet uh, function disorders. Uh, sometimes they call the platelet function disorder thrombo thrombocenia, like in the Gansman disease. Thrombocenia means weakness, weakness of the function. Thrombocenia. Uh, before we talk thrombo. Cytopenia, thrombocytopenia will decrease in the count of platelet. So quantitative, but here platelet function disorder, the defect is qualitative, qualitative, qualitative means functions disorders and the platelet uh, count or quantitative we divided uh, this to decrease in the production or increase in the destruction we can uh, Differentiate between both of them very easy by megakaryocyte. Megakaryocyte. If we find the if we find the megakaryocyte decrease, it will be decreased in the production. If we find the megakaryocyte in the more increase, it means that increase in the structure. So we'll uh, return back to the platelet function disorders may be inherited. Disorder or acquired. We will start by inherited. We took before uh, Bernard Soyer syndrome. Bernard Soyer syndrome. You uh, still remember Bernard Soyer syndrome. This deficiency of the uh, receptors for von Willebrand uh, factor, receptor glycoprotein 1P. So deficiency of glycoprotein 1P leading to decrease in the platelet. Adhesion, adhesion to the subendothelial collagen. So decrease in the function of the adhesion. Uh, while in Glanzmann uh, disease or Glanzmann thrombocytopenia, it is a deficiency of glycoprotein 2B, 3A, which is a receptor for fibrogen, which is a protein responsible for platelet platelet interaction. Platelet, platelet interaction, uh, so no aggregation. Defect in the aggregation. So you can know now that uh, both diseases, Bernard Soyer syndrome and the Gansman disease, are platelet function disorder, either in adhesion in Bernard Soyer or aggregation in the Glanzman disease. Bernard Soyer syndrome, deficiency of the receptor from von Willebrand factor. It is autosomal, non sex linked, uh, recessive disorder characterized by triad of prolonged bleeding uh, time function. Bleeding time is due to defective in the function platelet adhesion to the subendothelial microfibers. Thrombocytopenia, so this type of the platelet function is order associated with thrombocytopenia. So it is a qualitative and quantitative. In addition to a giant platelet, abnormal production of large platelets, you can see large platelets, this is a giant platelet. Platelet aggregation status are normal with all agonists. You can see here the red and blue. The blue is the control and the red is the patient. You can see with all agonists it is uh, normal except restostine. In restostine you can see there is a defect in the patient. In comparison to the control, here is the control. You can see the control, the aggregation occur, but in the patient, no aggregation 
with the resuscity no descent of the slope or the curve like the control uh, the diagnosis not only by platelet aggregation studies or aggregometers but confirmed by flow cytometry in order to diagnose decrease or deficiency in the glycoprotein 1B uh, receptor so uh, flow cytometry is a confirmatory test confirmatory test we have to do a flow cytometry in order to confirm the diagnosis of Perner Sawyer syndrome uh, Glanzmann disease thrombocenia weakness deficiency of glycoprotein 2p through 3a receptor receptor of fibrinogen the protein responsible for platelet platelet interaction so no egg platelet aggregation no platelet aggregation or deficiency in the platelet aggregation and you can see the platelet aggregation surfaces defective with all agonist except resistivity defective with EDB defective with adrenaline defective with uh, collagen no descent in the slope or the curve in comparison to the control you can see but resistivity to a slight extent there is decrease in the slope so we can except resistivity there is a response with resistivity so it is uh, reverse to Bernard Sawyer syndrome. Glanzmann disease, the picture is reverse to that of the Bernard Sawyer syndrome. Also both of them is autosomal and both of them are uh, recessive disorders and occurring in the early period in the neonatal period. Uh, acquired means that environmental effect like drugs, most common cause of the platelet, the most common cause of acquired Platelet dysfunction is aspirin. How by inhibition of the enzyme cyclooxygenase and the impairing of the thrombexan E2 sensors. We mentioned earlier in the lectures uh, that the thrombexan E2 is very important to activate the platelet. Aspirin inhibit the thrombexan E2 sensors to so inhibit platelet activation, so it is a good treatment in the patient with liability uh, to form a, a platelet plugs or coagulopathies disorders related to the platelets aspirin other causes myotisplastic syndrome pre-leukemic condition uh, mantle myeloma uremia renal failure all of this leading to uh, function disorders platelet function disorders aggregation and the adhesion disorders